What you are about to see will shock you. No camera tricks, no special effects, nothing but incredible moments from the heroic to the tragic on Wild and Crazy, caught on tape, location Russia. On today's program, these next two clips illustrate the concept that if you play with fire, you're likely to get burned, even in places of eternal peace. Turns out where there's smoke, there's usually fire. I'm guessing that's a fake fur. And speaking of inadvertent pyrotechnics, a Santa's life is fraught with danger. If it's not some smelly kid on your lap, it's some other pesky kid setting your Santa suit on fire with a sparkler. Take another look. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down hospital lane. Here we have some horse and carriage shenanigans. And really, who doesn't like a ride in or out of a carriage? If nothing else, it'll make a nice story for the grandkids, not to mention a great wedding video. And speaking of weddings, the wedding toast is a great responsibility. Here, the groom wants to drink to his bride, and why not? But why beer? And then again, why a shoe? If his bride were Cinderella, hey, maybe. But beer and white pumps? Really now, what would Miss Manners say? And now let's take a look at the wedding guests, especially the drunken, hyperactive, whirling dervish wedding guests. Hey, isn't she a little young for football? No, no, Boris. The Flower Girl Demolition Derby isn't until next Sunday. All right, catastrophe averted. Let's keep dancing. Here a small 11-passenger plane is coming in for a landing at a provincial airport in Magadan. Unfortunately, the day before the plane's arrival, the airfield here received a heavy blanketing of snow, which is still covering the runway. Rather than try and land on skis, the pilots attempt to land in the deep snow using the plane's wheels. Guess what happened? Perhaps snow tires would have been a good idea. Fortunately, no one was seriously hurt in this dramatic, almost graceful crash. As for the damaged plane, this proved to be its final flight. It appears that a bored elk decided one day to take up ice dancing, or more accurately, ice flailing around on four incredibly spindly looking legs. She doesn't seem to be enjoying this predicament, but unfortunately, her hooves provide her with virtually no traction whatsoever, making her look like, well, a total spaz. Try as she may, she's pretty much stranded out there. Fortunately, these fishermen have come to the animal's rescue. The elk has no choice but to rely on the men. Luckily, they're fishermen and not game hunters. She's exhausted after being on the ice for nearly two hours. She's so tired she won't even react to the dog barking a few feet away. One of the problems is that these men have never rescued an elk before. There's the animal's huge weight combined with her extreme awkwardness and their lack of tools, which makes the task at hand all the more difficult. Using whatever rudimentary tools they can scrounge, the fishermen do their best to help the struggling elk, but it's a painstaking process. One more attempt, and finally the wild creature is back on terra firma, yet she's so exhausted she can barely move. Here's one elk who might think twice next time she's tempted to take a little winter stroll across a frozen lake. Here, a young man has a plan. What that plan is, is anybody's guess, but we think it has something to do with impressing his girlfriend. Unfortunately, a belly full of vodka and some slippery hands aren't helping him any. In this case, the saying that God looks after fools and drunkards applies doubly to this fellow, as he's able to walk away relatively unscathed. And just look at him. What self-respecting woman wouldn't be impressed by this gorgeous hunk of man flesh anyway? Coming up, motorcycle meets hill. Fire meets gas tank. Bear meets car. Bear likes car. And paratrooper meets high voltage wires. Real footage of real incidents on wild and crazy caught on tape. 
The following took place during a motocross race in a Moscow suburb. Extreme sports often force competitors to take extreme risks, and motocross is certainly no exception. Far from it. During a jump, the driver loses control and flies off the bike. From a distance, the fall may not look that dangerous, but trust us, it is. At that speed and at that height, he's incredibly lucky to get away with just a broken leg. He may still be in shock here. Either that or he's very calm to have just had a major wipeout. But this too could have been much worse. During the jump, the bike's front wheel misses the biker's head by about six inches. Talk about a close one. In the middle of a field, a tractor catches fire. Moments later, firemen arrive on the scene, but just when they need it most, a water pump fails and there's suddenly virtually no pressure. So a brave fireman has to try and extinguish the fire while standing just a few feet away from it. Suddenly, the fuel tank explodes. The fireball and ensuing shockwave engulf him and knock him down. It certainly doesn't look good. Well, thank goodness for his fire retardant uniform. In this case, it may very well have saved his life. Amazingly, the fireman not only survived, but he was hardly burned at all. And rising like a phoenix from the ashes was able, incredibly, to walk away. Now, landing on a power line is pretty much the main thing you want to avoid when you and your parachute are making a landing. If such a landing occurs, the odds of survival are virtually non-existent. This paratrooper was very lucky. He was not electrocuted. Voltage in the power lines can reach up to 50,000 volts, far more than enough to easily kill a human being. Take another look as he cheats fate, snags the potentially lethal wire, then takes a little swing, and finally comes down. The following footage was shot in the center of Moscow. These security cameras are on 24 hours a day. Turns out that's a very lucky thing for one particular driver. On the right side of the frame, a suicidal man is preparing to end his life. Here he lets a car or two pass, gathers his composure, and waits. We can only imagine what's going through his troubled mind at this point. Suddenly he throws himself at a vehicle. He dies almost immediately. A crowd gathers, but it's too late to save the unfortunate man. Someone calls the police and traffic starts moving again. Take another look. He waits and then pounces. Grizzly. Yet without the tape, the driver could easily have been convicted of vehicular manslaughter and sent to prison for several years. This next unique video was shot in a Spanish zoo. The concept is that it's like an African safari. The only rule is that visitors must remain in their vehicles and not feed the animals. Certainly not feed them car parts. This Himalayan bear is well fed, but who knows what he has in mind? He's poking around, perhaps looking for a little dessert. Hey, that hubcap sure looks like a tasty treat. He definitely seems to have a soft spot in his heart for tire accessories. Look, it's a pie and a plate and a plaything all in one. And here perhaps is proof that there may be a circus bear somewhere back up his family tree. Who knew a hubcap would be good for the afternoon's animal entertainment? Frisbee anyone? Finally losing interest in the hubcap, the bear poses for his close-up. His enormous weight leaning on the car's hood required three weeks in the shop to fix. Food for thought next time the kids want to take the car to the animal safari. One morning, the owner of this small SUV decided to take a trip to the country. He got inside and was about to start the engine when suddenly he heard some meowing. 
It turned out that during the cold night, a stray cat had gotten into the cramped engine compartment to warm himself up and had gotten stuck there. The cat engine compartment rescue crew was summoned, and eventually, after some time and effort, they were able to extricate the cat from the car. If the car owner hadn't heard his engine purring, so to speak, his mechanic might have had quite a surprise at the car's next tune-up. As it was, the cat was a little dirty and a bit crumpled after his ordeal, but was able to walk it all off and start on to the rest of his eight remaining lives. And in a zoo near Moscow, a bear decided to see if he could squeeze into an old tire tread. It turns out that while he could get into it, he couldn't really get out of it. Now, I've heard of belted Galloway cows before, but never steel-belted brown bears. The zookeepers ended up having to call in a team of professional rescuers. After a bit of work, they were able to set the bear free. Here's the offending article. The rescuers decided to give the bear some wood to play with. And play with it, he did. He broke it right in half. Clearly, what this bear lacks in brains, he more than makes up for in brawn. And here's a new take on the movie The War of the Roses. These two lovebirds were caught on tape by some amused neighbors. He's apparently come home drunk and broke one time too many. She decides she's not going to let him come back into the house until he shows her the money. Clearly, that's not going to happen. So they both armed themselves with large sticks and a barrage of verbal abuse. Not to mention the traditional flinging of the dirt at one's wanton husband. Not that he seems to mind much. I bet they never imagined when they were both young and vaguely attractive that their passionate romance would someday come to this. But it has, and the thing is, stinking drunk or not, he wants in and she wants him out. And no amount of sticks or dirt is going to change that simple fact. But hey, it was fun while it lasted. On our next program, a heart.